Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. New year, new me, new content. I'm so glad that you guys decided to bring in the new year with me. Um, if you're new to this channel, go on and um, like and subscribe to my channel because <laughs> it's a great channel. And if you're new, um, share it as well. And if you're old, welcome back family. I guess let's go ahead and get into this new video. Today I'm doing a um, leave-in aloe vera. Pretty much what I did was I went to Walmart, got an aloe vera plant. I cut that thing up, um, blended it, pulsed it, squeezed it out, and extracted just pretty much about all the aloe vera that I could get out the plant. And then I came back with my um, bottle, put some oil in it, and now we're getting ready to apply it to my freshly washed hair. So, um, keep watching to see how I do this, like, massage, leave it in, aloe vera. Okay, so here I'm just unwrapping. I put a, um, a plastic cap on top of my head just to keep the moisture in. So, let's see this 4C hair working with it. Ah, hey, girl, hey. I got dope vibes on my conscience. Okay, so here I'm just going to section my hair into fours, and from the four sections, I'm going to do mini sections. So the section I do from ear to p middle, from ear to middle, that's pretty much what I learned in cosmetology, so I stick with that. Most people do, but you know, part your hair the best way you see fit, but most times I like to do either two sections or the four se sections from ear to ear. So here I'm just gonna re-mist my hair just a little bit. Um, this section felt a little dry already, so I just added a little moisture back into it. So, as you see here, I'm starting a mini section within one of the sections that I have. And what you've all been waiting for, the aloe vera. So, as you see, the oil is on top and the aloe vera is on the bottom. So, I'm just going to shake it up to mix it up just a little bit. Um, a lot of people take the plant and actually apply it to their hair, but I actually wanted to try the... Um, the um bottle method so i went on did that i heard that applying it directly to the scalp is way easier um if i did the plant i had to keep puncturing the aloe vera just to get the gel out after i use like the top layer so i wanted to do this so it would make it easier for me to do a little scalp massage on my hair really really hit the scalp um aloe vera is good for you know the itchiness of the scalp um it's good for dandruff it's good for just really adding moisture and <laughs> the one thing most natural love is the hair growth so i apply this in three sections to my root to my ends and to the middle of my hair and just work it down through my hair and really massage it into my scalp and then I ended off with just a little mini twist, nothing perfect, just something to hold it over as I do the other sections. I also want to add a little tidbit that you can actually use the same method for your face. Um, aloe vera is very good for your skin, good for moisture, especially if you have dry skin. So you can also do this for your face and you can also consume aloe vera minus the oil. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to show you guys once again from the front section. We're going to go ahead, look at our section, section from the bottom. Put the top piece away. Make sure that that's the section that you want. 
and clip it up and then I take my aloe vera and place it directly on the scalp line that I created right there and down in the section of the scalp massage it in oh yeah that's the way I like it <laughs> And then we're just going to really make sure that creates really good blood flow. Once again, another way of um, hair growth. I massage it on my edges. Girl, we got to keep them edges intact. 2020. Then, of course, save the oldest part of your hair, which is the end. So I put a little bit on there. And rub it through once again work it to the middle section i think i put quite a bit on this section but i'm still gonna put it in the middle work it through and then of course do a little twisty twist and move along So I try to be better than I ever been But the elephant in the room is my best attempt at being adequate as arrogance I didn't seek God cause the heart in me Honestly thought that I could handle this I didn't read the signs of the marquee That a hard disk dark and never handle me as narcissistic Heart sadistic thoughts and wishes that deserve torture Endless dark and wicked and perverse hearts of men that walk as princes Fight against your own awesome spirit, Lord Battle for my soul and I'm losing it Grabbing for control and I'm losing it Everything about me broke, so my heart I need you to fix. So I'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like with just water on it, no hair butter. It's more of a straighter pattern. My hair does curl in the front sometimes, but with just water, it doesn't. And it's not that I have heat damage. It's just the pattern in my front of my hair is more of a wavy straight in the back of my
have all the aloe vera slash like oil like the oil that i use you're supposed to use um vitamin e oil so i actually didn't have any vitamin e oil this time so i had castor oil which had vitamin e oil which the castor oil had this wonderful like smell to it so i wanted to kind of low-key cancel out the smell like the it like legit smell like underarms but it's totally worth it it's not like a terrible smell but it definitely like they kind of smell like <laughs> armpits so mixing it with my favorite um castor oil which is the um mango castor oil it kind of low-key canceled out the smell of the um aloe plant so now that that's all in my hair as you see there was nothing in my hair but um water and of course diluting the aloe vera with a tiny drip of water a little bit of drop of water and the oil and shaking it together that's all that's in my hair so most people they probably go to sleep like this or let this happen you know for however matter, matter long they may let it last but what i'm actually going to do because i have the time is i'm going to go ahead and put the conditioner in my hair to um do a detangle and style my hair up and this is the conditioner that i'm going with today absolutely love this um normally if i wanted a hairstyle that was gonna like be like more of a protective style i would use the um tgin um butter um i think it's shea butter and i absolutely love the tgin line like i started using it and like for my 4c hair it has worked wonders okay uh some aloe vera just flicked in my eye but it's okay it has worked wonders but this type 4 right here for um this curl smoothie for type 4 yeah i don't know if you can even see it can you see it i don't know it's not zooming it's okay whatever just know that's what it says so um i love this pomegranate honey it smells wonders everyone who knows me knows that i love pretty stuff in my hair so i'm gonna go do that um so thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe um if you guys want to see actually how i made the aloe vera um for my hair then click the link that'll probably be up here or a link below in the comments so thanks you guys love you bye